Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to run a for loop in SSIS till a particular condition is met. So recently I got a question from my subscriber Varda Muni Zero and he asked like uh, in SSIS I have to check by using a for loop if the above SQL script is null then the package is still loading or when it is done then the result will be date of the day. So there is a SQL query which will actually return the value as null if the package is still running and whenever it will start returning some date when the result won't be a null it means that the package has finished loading and then we can just skip the for loop at that particular time so we can actually install the for loop so that's what we need to do so what I can do I can do the similar thing that I have SQL server table audit log and the last entry in the audit log will be like uh, with a package entry that the package has been started and the start date will have some time and the end date will be null so we will run a for loop and the loop will run first it will go to the table will check the end date and if the end date is null it means that the package is running so what it will do it will wait for some time so maybe I can wait for few seconds and after few seconds I will again check that value if the end date is null or not so I will continue running the loop maybe till 1000 time or 10,000 time until the end date is a particular date and if the end date will be non-null it means that the package has finished loading then we will skip the for loop so that's what I want to do so let's see how we can do that so we got an audit log table here which contains the information the logging from the SSIS package so if you see here this is the last entry from the SSIS package and the start time of the package is this one and the end time is null so it means that the package is running and so that's why we need to check if the package is running then we will continue running the loop and whenever for the last entry if the error message is blank or null and if the end date is populated it means that the package got completed and then we will stop running the package okay so at the moment the package is running according to this particular scenario so if you see here uh, I'm going to execute this particular query like select top one and the date from this particular table from audit log where the package name will be this package name and the start time should be less than the current time and the error message is blank so I'm just selecting the top one record so right now this is returning null it means that the package is running okay and whenever this particular value will return the non null value so this will return the current date time so it means that the package has stopped running okay and then we can stop the for loop container so this is what we will do and whenever this end time will be populated so suppose if I populate the end time with the current date time then this particular select query should return the current date time here and the for loop should be stopped okay but for now let me set the value to the null so that we can start running the package okay so when the package will run and it will wait for some time then we will make use of the logs underscore progress table as well okay so it will have the id as an identity package name counter value information and the dated so for example if you want to make use of this table then it's fine otherwise it's up to you it's not mandatory but I will prefer to use this table so that for example if the package is running it is waiting and if the counter value is getting increased so we should know like if our package is running or not running for example our for loop package will run for a long time then we should know that it is running so after a particular wait it will insert a record into the logs progress table that uh, the package name the counter value like the initially the counter value will start from 1 and then it will be increased by 1 so initially it will be 1 then 2 3 4 5 so we will know that the package is running and we will also log the get date information as well into this particular table and we will insert a record with the value as package is still running okay so as of now this table is empty let me open the SSIS package so this is my blank SSIS package where I will be using the for loop container so first of all we need to declare two SSIS variables here the first variable I will declare is the counter variable and the data type will be integer so that's fine now the another variable I will declare is the uh, value variable and the data type will be a string and the default value I will provide is running okay and yeah that's fine two var variables are fine and now I need to just drag and drop the for loop container into the control flow window and now I can configure the for loop container so the process will start the initial expression we will set it to at the rate counter equal to 1 so the value of the counter will start from 1 and the for loop will run until the value of the counter will be 
less than 1001 okay so this loop will run till 1000 time if you want to execute it more than 1000 time then it's up to you but it will run maximum 1000 time and then we will increase the value of the counter equal to at the rate counter plus one okay and then i can click on okay and now what we will do we can just drag and drop the execute sql task into the for loop container and then we can just get the value from the audit log so i can write here check if package is running okay and then inside this particular task what we can do uh, we can actually copy this particular query from here and then we can check it so right now it is returning null value but normally we don't assign the null value to the variables so what we can do uh, we can define a value variable here of type varchar 10 and then what we can do we can just copy and paste this particular code into here so that we can assign this particular value to a local variable value and then we will use the is null function here and if the value will be null then we will replace it with the running so if i execute this query now so it will return the running okay so it will it's return running until the end time will be null okay this will be null then it will return running and for example if i update this end time with a uh, get date then it will return the current date okay so that's how it will work so for now i can just set the end date to the null so the package is running as of now okay so yeah so it is end date is null so what i can do i can copy this particular query from here and then i can just paste this value inside the script task and i can make a connection to the test database so because i already have a connection here so i can select this connection click ok and then under sql statement i can paste the query and i can click on ok and because this will return single value so from the result set i can select single value and then i can click on result set click add I can set the result set name to 0 and then I will assign this value to the value SSIS variable and then I can click on OK. Now what I will do that if the value will be running it means that we need to wait for maybe few seconds so I can just drag and drop the execute SQL task here and I can connect the first execute SQL task with another one and here uh, maybe I can call this one uh, wait for some time OK and uh, we also need to log some value okay uh, into the another table so i can go to the expressions here and uh, from here i can select sql statement property and then i can put a double quote here and then i can go back to this particular query and i can select this insert query from here and i can paste the insert query and the double quote and after inserting a record into the logs progress uh, we can wait for some time so in the real life scenario maybe you can wait uh, maybe for 60 seconds you can wait or maybe you can wait for 5 minute or 10 minute but here I will wait for 3 seconds because I need to show you otherwise if I will wait for example for 3 minute then it will be a long time okay yeah so this is seconds this is minute and this is hours so I will wait for 3 seconds only so if I execute this query so it will run for 3 seconds okay yeah so I can copy this value from here and I can paste it here and uh, instead of the hard coded value 1 i will put the value from the counter so i can put double quote plus plus double quote and then i can just drag and drop the counter variable here okay and because the counter is of type integer so i need to type cast it to a string so i can write dt underscore wstr comma 12 and then i can click on evaluate expression so this is working fine and i will share all this code with you you can download it from the link in the description of the video so that you can use it in your environment if you want so now i can click on ok 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 and there is one thing i missed i need to select the connection here ok so this is fine now this particular task should run if the result from the uh, value will be running ok so what i can do i can just double click on this one and expression and constraints and then i can just drag and drop the value here if value equal to running uh, click on evaluate expression so so if the value equal to running only then we need to execute this particular task we need to wait and insert a record into the progress uh, table that the package is running and we need to wait and as soon as this particular query this particular query will start returning some other value other than this running 
it means that the package has been completed and we need to stop running the package we need to stop running the for loop and the for loop can only be paused if the value of the counter will be 1000 so what we can do in another task we can set the value of the counter to 1000 okay or maybe greater than 1000 so what i can do i can just drag and drop the execute sql task here and i can put inside the for loop and then i can connect the first execute sql task with the second task and i can call it as stop for loop okay and what we will do we will actually check this value if the value won't be running so i can just double click here expression and constants paste the value here if the value is not equal to running it means we got some other value and other value will be the date of course because in a date time value we can only have either the date or we can have a null value okay so if the value is a date then what we can do uh, we can select the connection here and then we will select a value like 1000 and we will assign this value to the result set from the result set we will select single row and then here uh, we will select the result set name as 0 and we will assign it to counter okay so the counter will become 1000 and that's why the for loop will stop yeah so i think our package is ready to be run now and if i check the value in the audit log so right now the end date is null it means that the package is running and right now the logs underscore progress is empty okay so let me start running the package now and it should start running and it should wait for every execution for three seconds yeah so you can see that it ran one time second time now i can go back here and i can check the logs underscore progress table and it is inserting the values for every three seconds it is inserting the values okay so this particular package will run 1000 time it will continue checking and as soon as we will update the end date time it means that the package got completed then the then this particular loop will stop okay so right now if you see here it ran till 11 time and for example if i set the end time to the get date then the package will stop so i can click on execute here and, and the package got completed okay so this is how the loop will run until a particular condition is met so if i go back here at the logs underscore progress so you can see that 14 entries are there and uh, every entry is after three seconds like 34 37 40 44 47 50 okay and as soon as the end time got some value it means the package got completed you know so the end time is non-null it means the package got completed so the for loop also got finished at the same time okay so this is how you can run a for loop in finite time or maybe a particular time like you can run a loop 1 million time or 100 million time as soon as a particular condition will become true the loop will be stopped automatically yeah so i think that's what we wanted from this particular package and i will share all this script like the audit log script and like all these scripts and the create table statement for the logs underscore progress i will share all the queries with you and you can download it from the link in the description of the video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much